The Boy Who Cried Adolf, written by Dimitri Karras, illustrated by Michael Fuller. Once upon a time, there was a boy who lived in a peaceful village. The boy had been spending considerable time on the internet. The internet had told the boy that Nazis were everywhere, but the boy wasn't sure what a Nazi even was. After reading many Twitter posts from celebrities, the boy finally felt that he knew exactly how to identify Nazis. He wanted to do his part to keep the village safe, so he went out to fight the Nazis. First, the boy came across a sheep herder. The sheep herder had a rifle slung on his back. Why do you have that gun? The boy asked. Just in case a wolf comes to attack the sheep, the sheep herder said. Without another word, the boy began screaming. Nazi! There's a Nazi here! Many villagers heard the boy yelling. They came running to help. When they arrived, they were confused. Finally, one villager said, That's not a Nazi. It's, It's just Frank. He is a Nazi, replied the boy. He owns a gun instead of relying on the government to protect him. The villagers were disappointed with the boy. They all murmured to themselves and left in disbelief at the boy's behavior. The boy did not understand why no one punched the Nazi. However, he was not discouraged. He still felt that he had to do his part to protect the village. Next, the boy came upon a farmer. The farmer was selling tomatoes at the market. Why? Are you selling tomatoes? The boy asked. Don't you know that food is a human right? So it should be free. But uh, how would I support my family if I have to give away my work? Asked the farmer. Without another word, the boy began screaming. Nazi! There's a Nazi here! Nazi! Ew! Again, many villagers heard the boy yelling. They came running to help. When they arrived, they were confused. Finally, one villager said, That's not a Nazi, it's it's just Tom. He is a Nazi, replied the boy. He is trying to sell something that should be free, and I think he had employees help him pick the tomatoes. So he is stealing from them by making a profit. The villagers were annoyed with the boy. They walked away, shaking their heads in disgust. Again, the boy did not understand why no one punched the Nazi. However, he was still not discouraged. He felt he had to do his part to protect the village. Next, the boy came upon a woman talking with her friends. He overheard the woman say, I don't know. I kind of think that partial birth abortions are cruel. It is uh, it, it is about to be born. I, I think it is for sure a baby yet. Without even speaking to her, the boy began screaming. Nazi! There's a Nazi here! Nazi! 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 Boo! Yet again, many villagers heard the boy yelling. They came running to help. When they arrived... They were confused. Finally, one villager said, That's not a Nazi, it's it's just Margaret. He is a Nazi, replied the boy. I just overheard her say that she hates women's rights. I said nothing of the sort, said the woman. The villagers were now furious with the boy. They turned to walk away. The boy saw the villagers were about to leave. Why don't you people do anything about all these Nazis? Don't you know you are supposed to punch Nazis in the face? He wailed. Listen, boy, one villager said. We know Frank, Tom, and Margaret. They aren't Nazis. They just have a different opinion than you do. But they are Nazis. They own things they aren't supposed to own, do things they aren't supposed to do, and say things they aren't supposed to say. 
They are literally Hitler, said the boy. At that moment, one villager punched the boy square in the jaw. <laughs> there, are you happy now, boy? Mind your mouth and you won't get your face smashed in. This is real life, not the internet. Yay! The end. <laughs>